you know, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, this country, you love it and you hate it. I know I do, but at the same time. Because it's stories like this that make me say, you know, I can't believe that this is allowed to happen in, you know, supposedly the greatest country. And for someone to have given this much service, I mean, this goes to show you how hypocritical we are. And if you want to know what got me all up in a bunch, it's um this story about Alexander Vindman. You know, the one that testified against Donald Trump. And then, of course, he came up on the wrath of Donald Trump because he can't, you know, of what he did. So it says in a fiery op ed upon military retirement, he says, um, I believe in a, that in America, rights matter. Because y'all know he lost his job. Because the madman took, put him out of a job, all of them up in there from the person that was the ambassador to the Ukraine and all the services and all the presidents they worked up under, it could just gone in the drop of a hat like the rest of us. Um, and they better hope he get his pension. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman stood by his decision to act as a key witness in President Donald Trump's impeachment inquiry. Following in a fiery Washington Post op-ed to reform a government he slammed as reminiscent of the authoritarian regime that my family fled. At no point in my career or life have I felt our nation's value under the greater threat and in more peril than at this moment, wrote Vindman, whose family fled to the U.S. from the Soviet Union when he was a child. Our citizens are being subjected to the same kinds of attacks, tyrants launched against their critics and their political opponents, he later added. There is, is another way. In the op-ed that was published Saturday upon retiring from the U.S. Army after more than 21 years of military service, Vindman, now a civilian, recounted how he did not expect the course of events that stemmed from his decision to report concerns about Trump's July 25, 2019 phone call with the Ukrainian president to other officials on the National Security Council. Venom's testimony in the impeachment inquiry ultimately prompted him to fire, I mean, Trump to fire him as the top Ukraine expert on the council in February and his decision to retire from the army. <laughs> During my testimony in the White House impeachment inquiry, I reassure, reassure my father, who experienced Soviet authoritarianism, firsthand saying do not worry i will be fine for telling the truth despite trump's retaliation i stand by that conviction ben wrote lambasting the spurious attacks of a dis dis disreputable man and his sick offense to this day despite everything that has happened i continue to believe in the american dream he added I believe that in America, rights matter. I want to help ensure that rights matters for all Americans. Vindman did not specify his future plans, writing that he looked forward to contributing to the effort to issue a mandate to reject hate and bigotry and return to the ideas that set the United States apart from the rest of the world. In my retirement from the Army, I will continue to defend my nation. I will demand accountability from our leadership and call for leaders of moral courage and public servants of integrity, he wrote. I will speak about the attacks on our national security. I will advocate for policies and strategies that will keep our nation safe, strong against internal and external threats. I will promote service 
um, public and exalt the contribution that service brings to all areas of our society. Vindman has spoken out since the announcement of his departure from the Army. He has tweeted, he tweeted just last week that he was certain he did his duty as a key witness in the impeachment inquiry, reflecting on the testimony that he gave after Trump's call one year ago with the Ukrainian president. One year since the call, much has changed for me, and so much more has changed for the country. I rest, though, knowing that I did my duty. I did my duty, what I was sworn to do. Bidman wrote in a tweet about the July 25th phone call. And he says he has no regrets. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. No, no, no. No, Zora. No. No. So with that being said, I'm going to see you in the next video.